This product is called AC Carbamide by Standard Process. The carbamide actually means urea. So urea is the end product of protein metabolism. And the point is when you have a higher amount of urea in your blood, that goes to your kidneys and it makes your kidneys urinate more. So the most extreme case I've ever heard of this, was not my patient, but we're talking late 1990s, another doctor told me that he had a guy lose 20 pounds of fluid overnight by taking AC carbamide. He just started urinating a lot. And um, I've had people urinate excessively for a few days or a couple of weeks, and they lose a few pounds. It's for water retention, edema. Right off, right off the uh, clinical reference guide, it says this. Indications, water retention, edema, excess sweating, excess or diminished kidney and bladder function, nightmares, glaucoma, gastritis, and acidosis. All of those could be from excess fluid retention in the body. Now, uh, urine is like 94% water or something high, and then 2% urea, and then there's a bunch of other things in there. And so this you're not consuming urine when you take this. You're consuming the waste products of protein metabolism, and it goes in your blood. I'm going to repeat this. A higher amount of this in your blood makes your kidneys work better. Step three of the seven-step blueprint to optimal health is drainage, and that's kidneys. So if you're preparing to detox, kidney support might be needed. So consider this in step three of your seven-step blueprint to optimal health. So an example of this is gout. What is gout? It's an excess amount of crystals in your blood. And when you lay down to go to sleep at night, the circulation slows down, and then the crystals will settle and accumulate in a joint. For example, the big toe or the hip or the shoulder or the elbow. I've seen it in uh, various parts of the body. Then you wake up two hours later because of pain. So how do you clean the crystals out of your blood? Well, AC carbamide does a great job of that. Now, what's the cause of gout? It's excess sugar metabolism, meaning eating too much sugar, grains, you know, carbohydrates, bread, etc. That's the cause of gout. Now, a trigger for gout can be beef, pork, chocolate, or wine. Those are not causes of gout. Those are triggers. Then we have the symptoms of the gout pain. And then we also have the mechanism, which is the crystals forming in the blood, settling in the joints. So I just talked about four things here that nobody talks about. We have triggers. We have causes, we have the symptoms, and then we have the mechanism. So the, the cause is the sugar, the triggers would be meat or wine or chocolate, the mechanism is crystals forming, and then the symptom is, is gout pain. So clean up your diet, and then you can take AC carbamide to help clean out your blood and your kidneys, and that's how you can address gout.